Now we're into the business end of December, which means it's time to look back at the past year, 2021. It was definitely an eventful year. We, have a f we had a new US president. We had the biggest vaccine drive in history. We had a major climate conference. We also had some big tragedies like the Taliban's takeover of Afghanistan, the war in Ethiopia, or the coup in Myanmar. So many events and so many people who shaped these events. So here's a tough question for you. Who do you think is person of the year? Who stood out in 2021? Who made you sit up and be inspired? You can take your time. Meanwhile, let me tell you what the Time magazine thinks. They always announce a person of the year, and this time it's Elon Musk, billionaire, space entrepreneur, and serial tweeter. What exactly did Elon Musk do this year? Well, he launched a couple of rockets, he toyed with the stock market, and he tweeted a lot. The Time magazine says Elon Musk is saving the Earth, that he's taking humans to our new home, which is Mars. Well, maybe he is, but was 2021 the year of Elon Musk? Will this year be remembered for his childish Twitter rants? I, for one, don't think so. Because while time was swooning over Tesla and SpaceX, the rest of the world was slightly distracted. Something about a pandemic and the death of thousands of people. I'm not saying that Elon Musk is undeserving. His vision is certainly inspiring. But there is a time and place for his vision. And 2021 was neither the time nor the place. So who should be person of the year instead? according to you. There were so many deserving candidates, like the people of Myanmar. After the military coup in February, they hit the streets, they braved bullets, they shrugged off threats from the army, all for democracy. And how can you forget the women of Afghanistan? As superpowers fled, they stood firm, they fought to preserve their hard-earned freedoms. Imagine the courage. The same Taliban once shut them in their homes. They were publicly flogged. They were denied jobs and education, but none of it deterred these women. They marched on the streets, fearless and spirited. If world leaders shared their courage, Afghanistan would still be a democracy today. And the list doesn't end there. You had tennis player Naomi Osaka, gymnast Simone Biles. Thanks to them, the world is still talking about mental health. All of them are deserving winners, we say. But for us, this year, 2021, has been about one thing, recovering from the pandemic, ending lockdowns and resuming our normal lives. To some extent, we have been able to do that, which is why our person of the year are vaccinators. The millions of health workers who spent the last year immunizing us, their dedication and hard work was unparalleled. The politicians announced big targets, but it was these vaccinators who achieved them. They worked multiple shifts. They traveled to remote locations. They made us feel safe and comfortable taking our vaccines. I can give you examples from India. Take a look at these vaccinators. They're trekking through mountains. They're crossing rivers. Where exactly are they going? To remote settlements in Jammu and Kashmir. We're talking about a few dozen people, 100 at most. They may not be willing to take vaccines. They may be hostile to these vaccinators, but these young medics never give up. As we keep saying, nobody is safe until everybody is safe. I'm sure vaccinators across the world have similar stories. Maybe they spent less time at home. Maybe they sacrificed their holidays to protect us. Sounds like something a person of the year would do. For most of us, getting a vaccine, you know, was not such a big deal. We had the means, we had the access. But think about places like Yemen or Sub-Saharan Africa. In places like that, the vaccine must come to you. You cannot go to the vaccine. And that's what vaccinators did. They marched through war zones to inoculate people. 2021 was a year of sacrifice for them. The question is, how can we repay them? For starters, fight vaccine hesitancy. Do your research and get that shot. And secondly, wear your mask. Don't let this virus mutate and spread, because if it does, we will need more boosters. And more boosters means more work for vaccinators. Well, you may or may not agree with our pick of for person of the year, but our logic is quite simple. You don't need to dream of Mars to make a difference on Earth. You don't need to always launch satellites or play with the stock market. Sometimes a five-second injection is much more important.
Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.